to put us down. But it's an information war. We're not just in a cultural information war right now in the year 2022. We're in an ancient information war where, where paradigms have been foisted upon us that aren't really true. Whole entire socio-religious systems have been foisted upon us that have absolutely no precedent in history. They're fictions. And the more the media and the more religions keep, keep putting out this data, and keep putting all, it, it creates realities for us. That's what the Crusades were. The Crusades were the result of long-term conditioning of Christians against Muslims and Muslims against Christians and the Roman Catholic Church taking advantage of this. You have to understand the Roman Catholic Church at the time and the agents of the, of the, of the papacy, they were the media of the time. And the media of the time were working in tandem with the royalty of Europe. And they saw that, look, all we have to do is wire up all this hatred between Christians and Muslims and, and we're going to benefit. History History makes sense from the perspective of understanding that the players have always been the same. They just wear different disguises through in different time periods. At that time, the Roman, the Roman Catholic agents, the media, spread, spread the news from all over Europe and wired up the Crusades, seven different Crusades. And this was the way the church and the state worked together to, to get enriched. The same way the church and state worked together today to get enriched. Back then, it was sending all the males to die on Muslim battle, battlefields, which left, which left young widows back who were landowners, who had livestock. Some of them had slaves. They had great wealth. And with hundreds of thousands spread across Europe of women defenseless, what do you think happened? It's called the burning times. They were accused of witchcraft. Their estates were taken from them. And the church and the state split the money. Today, the exact same thing is going on with the media. The church and state work in tandem to deceive the public. Except, it's gotten more complicated. It's not just the church anymore. The church, basically, science has taken place of the church, and the church has become a relic. It's become antiquated. It's, not, it's no longer uh, really of use anymore. But uh, it's the same principle applies. 